Hey guys, welcome back. And today we're going to be talking about yet another complete and utter failure of our justice system. So Chris Chan, the most documented person on the internet, has been released from jail and his case has actually been dismissed. Granted, he was released from jail a while back. His dismissal of his case was something that we were not going to be expecting at all. Now, for those of you who don't recall what he did or don't know who this person is at all, well, he's a very extremely popular person, mainly for being a very weird individual. So Chris Chan was actually facing several felonies. Now you may be wondering, what did this person do to get all of these charges at once? And well, I'm about to explain to you with no regards for any not safe for work warning, so get ready to hear this. I usually beat around the bush to try to avoid saying some very disgusting and heinous things that other people try to commit, but in this case, I'm gonna tell you exactly what happened. So on August 5th, 2021, Christine Weston Chandler was arrested for incest and sexual assault. Police arrested Christine Weston Chandler after learning that she had attempted to have a sexual relation with her elderly mother, and Christine was facing up to 10 years in prison as this was a class 5 felony. Now, if you're a little bit confused as to why I switched the pronouns, well first let me apologize because some people are very strict on pronouns and personally I like to respect them, but the reason I'm using two different separate pronouns is because I'm addressing Chris Chan in two different ways. I'm I'm addressing Christine and that identity when they committed that crime and I'm addressing Chris Chan as the popular figure that we all know love and hate at the same time now don't get me wrong I'm not doing this out of respect for Chris Chan I'm just doing it because it'd be more suitable for the information at hand let's be real here nobody really respects Chris Chan he's just a very weird and unhinged individual so now we have a very public legal document circulating around the internet right now showcasing that Chris Chan has actually been released and his case was a complete dismissal. I did some research to confirm that this was in fact true and it turns out that that is exactly the case. This article right here reveals that on a pre-trial hearing that took place in August 8th of 2023, which was this month, it was confirmed that Chris Chan's case will in fact be dismissed, which is insane because now we have an unhinged individual out on the street again that honestly would have been better off in jail. Now, if you have a little bit of knowledge on the court system or any legal system depending on where you live, and then you know that when it comes to cases like these, typically a dismissal is only granted after a certain requirement have been met. So in a felony case such as this one, typically a dismissal would be granted after probation has been completed or deferred adjudication has been granted. That or you take some classes or you put yourself on the registry. Some sort of negotiation, some sort of deal. Well, uh, let me just say that Chris Chan is an insane exception. As it turns out, Chris Chan was actually given this dismissal with no requirements at all that we know of. No major requirements anyways. Maybe he was let out on some sort of probation, but he actually does not have to register as a sex offender at all, even though he committed an R word. So let me correct myself really quick. As I was doing more research and reading more articles, I come to find out that he is in fact given dismissal off of a couple of conditions. The prosecutor of State Virginia drops the charges on the condition Chris Chan be institutionalized to a certain degree and that he be kept away from Barbara. And I mean, this is completely fair, but I still think that he should have spent some time in jail. He should have no connection to his mother anymore after the shit that he did. Also, just to mention, Barbara is in fact his mother. Even though Christian has a lot of fans, they're not his fans for the right reasons. Christian isn't particularly a great person. If anything, people are fans of him because he's a lol cow and people like to make fun of his insane antics. So despite his immense popularity, everybody is still in agreement that Chris Chan should in fact not be walking free right now. Everybody wants him in jail, including his supporters. And I personally am no different. I personally think that the shit that he did is incredibly unforgivable. It's incredibly disgusting. And abusing your own mother like that and of her situation is something terrible that could never have been forgiven in a million years. And I'm pretty sure that a lot of people probably think the same. So Barbara, his mother, well, she actually suffers from dementia and she can't can't really take care of herself without a little bit of assistance. And for a long time, Chris Chan lived with her and was actually her only caretaker. It was revealed in a leaked phone call that Chris Chan actually took advantage of Barbara during a situation when she couldn't really think for herself. And it was revealed by Chris Chan during that conversation that she couldn't actually put up a lot of resistance and that she was basically just there motionless, just reacting to Chris Chan's actions, which is incredibly 
absolutely disgusting. I honestly don't have the words to express how much disdain and disgust I have for somebody's terrible actions like this. And well, a lot of people aren't happy at all that he managed to get out of this scot-free and still manages to walk among us. In fact, the internet and the public community is incredibly outraged right now that this actually managed to happen. People are heavily criticizing the justice system right now, especially the justice system of Virginia for allowing Chris Chan to go free, basically making a mockery of what it is to uphold the law. There are people who have self-defense cases who have gone to jail for far longer than Chris Chan has, and it's not like Chris Chan wouldn't do this again to anybody else because he in fact would. Christian is a very delusional individual who doesn't really know how to respect boundaries in real life. He doesn't know how to respect people and he doesn't know how to interact socially with other individuals. He has an insane thought process that he is entitled to everything, including other women, and the only reason he hasn't managed to actually cause this type of harm to other people is because other people don't let him get close enough to do this type of bullshit. In fact, he has a long history of scaring pretty much every woman that's come his way. In the early days of Christian trolling, Christian was ridiculed for drawing himself having sex with other real-life women. Real-life women that were actually a part of his life, they actually managed to respect Christian as a friend. But after these women witnessed essentially, you know, sexual harassment in the form of a comic, they immediately cut ties with him and they were not happy at all with him, even insinuating that they were willing to get a restraining order on Christian for his insane behavior. But in Chris Chan's mind, he thought that he had the ability to win these women back in his life by doing some very outlandish shit only to basically be told that he in fact would not be given another chance to redeem himself or to be forgiven. He used to say outlandish shit basically saying that if he did certain things that he could absolutely definitely win this woman back but that was never the case and it only made things worse. Now I'm not gonna get into that because that is a huge documentary that you'd honestly have to watch a one hour video for it to understand. Understand. The only reason I'm bringing it up is because I want to show you guys that Chris Chan has no respect for other people's boundaries and I'm pretty sure if he was given the opportunity or given the chance to once again commit an assault on somebody else that he would definitely do it because this motherfucker is delusional. In fact, when he was arrested for all of this, I'm pretty sure that Chris Chan went on Twitter and he basically proclaimed his innocence saying that the mom, in fact, liked what he was doing so he doesn't understand any issue with this. All of this information is out there, I'm not gonna dig for it because it would honestly be incredibly weird, but if you wanna go look for it and expose yourself to that awfulness, you can go ahead. Anyways guys, that's it for today's video. There's not really much I have to say left about the situation, I'm pretty sure a lot of people are gonna have the same take anyways. I just wanted to make a video because this situation actually infuriates me. The whole idea of assaulting somebody, especially somebody who's not really capable of defending themselves, is extremely sickening. It's disgusting. Like, I genuinely, I genuinely cringe at the thought of it because it's just so horrible. But despite all of this, Christian is allowed to go free. And that really pisses me off, as it's been pissing off many other people. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you guys got a little bit more awareness on who this type of person is, in case you didn't know. I love you all, and if you guys actually managed to watch all the way to the end here, then I want to say that I actually want to accelerate my growth. So if you subscribe, I'd appreciate it because once we hit 500 subscribers, which I'm pretty sure we can do pretty rapidly, assuming this video gets good growth, then I will be giving out either a copy of Armored Core or Starfield, or if you want to, when I select the winner, I will allow you to choose any title of a similar price point. And I will do this every milestone. My milestone right now is 500 subscribers. My second milestone after that will be a thousand, and after that it'll be two thousand and so on. I think I finally managed to streamline my content and actually managed to have a better speaking voice and a manner of talking to you guys to make the content more quality. So I feel like it is finally time to try to make my growth more exponential. So if you want to see this happen, please share the video, please subscribe, and uh, whenever it comes to pass, I will be there for you guys. Thank you for watching. I love you all. Have a good one.